What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and me, I was labbing some Leroy, specifically how to counter him, and I found something pretty disturbing about the character. Uh, it involves his Ford for free, as we all know, we found on day one, it leads to a follow-up mini float there for 48 damage. But it turns out this is actually a pretty reliable 85 damage launcher versus large chunks of a cast. So not everyone, but large chunks of a cast. So I'm just gonna take this from the start. So what is the forward forward free? It is a high, but this is a, it's an almost infinite range homing. Yeah, it's actually homing. It doesn't look like a homing move, but it is. You can see the white trail there. So incredible range, knocks down, 48 damage. This is what we found on day one. And then of course we started to note that Oh, it's plus one, but that's only on point blank. If you know how to place this move from a specific range, uh, you'll get a crazy amount of plus frames. That's plus four. We can get this to plus six, plus five. Plus five. Come on, get, give me a plus six, baby. <laughs> Come on, shoot it. Plus six. And of course, it, this leaves Leroy at plus six right next to the opponent. Compare this to another uh, high that has plus frames on block and tracks a lot. It's not a homing, but it tracks a lot. The electric wind god fist. Plus five, but knocks them back. You know, pushes them back quite far. Here, ridiculous plus six, and you're right next to them. So yeah, th this move, and, and with the couple with the range and the speed, this move is insane. Especially as you're, n you're not gonna duck Leroy. You know, it's a high, but... He has Ford for 2-2, two, two, long range mid launcher, down 1 plus 2, orbital, back 4, you know, name a mid, he's got it. So you're, you're not ducking this character. So th this move is ridiculous. So, where am I getting at? On day 1, we knew this worked for 48 damage. Then, a couple of days later, some people found that on certain characters, you can actually sidestep left into down for 3-1 to float the opponent. Very, very interesting, isn't it? On a certain amount of characters. But this can be a little bit tricky to do. Uh, you gotta be pretty precise uh, in, in your sidestep, but it's not too hard. But what this means, of course, is that when we use this move from its optimal range, you know, where we want to use it for that you know, juicy plus six, you know, or plus very steady plus five, this sidestep technique doesn't work, you know. So that's exclusive to if we land it from here. So I was like, hmm, really good, but, you know, does, does, it's not completely busted. But then what I realized is that you actually don't have to sidestep left. A lot of people notice that on Miguel and Dragonop, characters the two characters who have the longest legs in the game, in terms of hitbox, you could actually just do this straight away. But I realized when I lab this character is that, yeah, even on Steve, if I just dash forward, so stop doing sidestep left, uh, stop doing this, sidestep left, just dash forward, and you can do this. And with this technique, you can actually use the move from its optimal range and pick up with a forward dash and it is pretty much 100% reliable and so what does this mean well it means we get a <laughs> Wilhelm is uh, <laughs> hugging the door there and um, it means we get a lot of damage uh, interestingly the first down forward free here does not count as floated state on the opponent Yes, so the launcher itself does 34 damage. Only the first jab counts as, you know, a, a hit on a floated opponent. So we actually get a ridiculously long combo here, or what it looks like. Down for 3-1, forward 3, three, down 3-2, three, 2-1, two, two, down 2-4. 85 damage, no execution, no counter hit, no rage. That is exactly half-life without a wall. 
just to tell you how ridiculous this is, uh, if you don't understand, like his orbital, this, this easy staple you do, does 77 damage. That is ridiculous damage, it's above pretty much every character in the game. Um, the, the meter characters with one bar can trump that, but that's with meter. And uh, Armor King with a difficult staple can do 80 damage from his dark upper. But yeah, this is a super reliable 77 damage staple juggle. And in my opinion, no character comes even close in terms of damage and ease. How easy it is. But so then you have Fort Fort Free, which on its own is an amazing move. Uh, is now on a large portion of a cast an 85 damage launcher. Like 85 damage is completely busted. Completely busted. And it turns out when I did labbing, this actually works on a lot of characters. I haven't tried on everyone so far, but listen now. Uh, what Leroy players should do is just make notes of every character this works on, and then as soon as you face that character, you just know you have a reliable Ford Ford Free 85 damage launcher, plus 6 on block. Infinite range. So, it works on Jack, Gigas, Armor King, King, Dragonov, Negan, Miguel, Marduk, Bob, Heihachi, Paul, Brian, Fengwei. Interestingly, it doesn't work on Claudio and Kuma who are pretty large characters, but again, I haven't labbed everyone, but in this list, you have some of the most played characters in the game, namely Armor King, King, Dragonov, you see a lot of Negan now, Marduk, Heihachi, Paul, what is he? Is he the third most played character? Or no, number one maybe, I don't know. Brian, you know, it's... Uh, it's a lot of characters where you suddenly have, you know, a completely absurd move. So again, with this forward dash from the optimal range, you have a combo. And now you're probably thinking, but okay, but if my opponent steps, is it still reliable? It is. And this is where it works super well to both sides, stepping both sides. Uh, and I'm going to show you what the damage looks like if we actually have a wall as well. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. Uh, so yeah, I, I just didn't know about this. I wish I'd known about this when I was playing ranked with Leroy. Because yeah, I would be sitting with my list of these characters. And as soon as I face them, I would just throw this move all the time. If it hits... From any range, I get Half-Life. I mean, he, I still cannot get over the fact that you get 85 damage. No meter, no counter hit, no nothing. So, let's see. Uh, stand and approach. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it's the, the YouTube curse strikes again. Oh, you're, you're joking. It's like you can't drop that. But of course, as soon as I record for YouTube. this That was 106 damage. Uh, let's see if I can do the, the big... Sorry, I... You got a forward dash. I'm not forward dashing because I'm recording for YouTube. I'm holding forward. Let's see. Oh, okay, sorry. Backdash a little bit more. Uh, that was 120 damage. I mean, just to give you guys a comparison, let's go with uh, Kazuya Mishima, my main, who has received a significant combo buff, you know, combo damage for Season 3. Now that we can just do electrics, you know, mo multiple electrics in every combo. 
So I'll just do a a high execution staple. That's 73 damage. The, the wall hit does one damage, so it's not 74. It's 73 damage doing uh, a combo that very, a minuscule um, minority of uh, Kazuya players will be able to do. Uh, most of them, so that's what? 12 damage below the easy 4 4 3 combo I showed you. And most Kazuya players will do. That's 62 damage. You, you see, look at the health bar. It's about a third of his health. 62. That is 23 damage below Leroy's Ford Ford Free. Like, you. I. I you, you have to. <laughs> Sorry, a stroke. Old man stroke. You need, you need a lot of experience with this game to understand, I think, how much 85 damage is on a staple without counter hit or anything. Um. Yeah, it's like, yeah, Le Leroy is uh, incredibly stupid, and that was without me knowing that Ford Ford Free, a move that, even if you only did the 48 damage follow-up, you know, up Ford Free for 1 plus 2, the mini float, even if you did that, you know, amazing move. But now, on a lot of characters, it is a very reliable 85 damage launcher without walls, without rage. Uh, yeah, it's um, char the character just keeps getting worse and worse, and uh, can they even nerf him at this point? Uh, I mean, they can nerf him, but is he ever gonna be fixed? We'll see. But so, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a lovely day. Take care.